All right, so if you've installed Linux and then you want to you know, run some EXEs or Windows applications and you might be having trouble with just the default wine, this is kind of how you help that. Firstly, depending on your distribution, you go to Wine HQ, and if your distribution is here, you can you know, use one of these. If you have a different distribution, then there are different ways to do it, uh, like your pack and package manager or whatever else. And you basically just right click and copy and then you paste it here and you enter and you do that for all of these for this one this line this line all these lines and you find which version you have if you have the most latest version for the mint which i'm using mint 21 and you copy paste that one if you've got number 20 the old version copy paste that one you, you update and then you um so you don't have to install this one, but I find specifically for Mint, this does not work. It works for Debian, I find, but for Mint, you just have to delete the HQ and do Wine Stable. Now, if that does not, if you have trouble with that, or another way to do it is actually to go to your Synaptic Package Manager. So you just type in Synaptic Package Manager in the default, you know, the search thing there. And then we go search, Wine, enter. And here is a bunch of wine related things. Now you see I've got this one, you can do this, it helps. Um, but what you want is wine. You just, you know, click that uh, mark for installation. You also want another good thing to get is um, desktop files. So that's, you want desktop files as well, that's good. And you also want wine tricks. Now, if you, you can also just do sudo apt-get install wine tricks, enter, and then install it that way. And then you should have wine. So you can either do it through the console, or you can do it through Synaptic Package Manager. Um, by the way, you click apply, and it'll, <clears throat> once you've marked these for installation, click apply, and then it'll do that. So let's assume you now have wine. Well, if we go here, type in wine here, we have the, the, these things, because if you install the desktop thing, it should have configure wine, uninstall wine, and wine tricks and browse C as well. So we go to configure wine, and you can see here, you can set if you want Windows 7 or you want Windows 10, they're both fine. Uh, Windows 10 might be better for DirectX 11, by the way. And we have all these things. Now, there's not much to do here besides, um, libraries now libraries is the main one now you can randomly just add libraries and hope for the best but actually what you want to do is you want to find out what libraries your application uses now some really uh, important ones would be you know d3d11 or d3d9 um, for example and quartz is another good one that handles seemingly a lot of uh, visual things for um, I think like visual novels so that that gets a lot of visual novels working which is quartz you see i've got a couple here i've got like dot net i've got my d3d9 uh, for quartz etc and um now how do we find out what uh, one second how do we find out what um pack dll's or you know, libraries and such that application needs we go to uh, we download this program for dependency walker and just click the exe, here we go, dependency walker. And now you will open the exe. Uh, see, can I drag it? Yes, OB. Yes, we can drag it. All right, and this is a um, copy of Fantasy Star, Fantasy Star uh, Blue Burst. And as we see here, we've got all these DLL. Now, this is the same as this, pretty much. Uh, if we go to this, maybe easier, or, or we just Go down, down, like that. And look at that. This uses DirectX 8 or D3D8. Uh, Win MMM do I have is. Now we can look up here. We go D3D8. There is a DirectX 8. Okay, let's add it. Let's click there. We'll add it. Um, now let's we just start from the start. Okay, is there an ADV? What is this? ADV AP? ADV AP pack? API 31. Sometimes the name's different. Now, is that the right one? I don't actually know, so I'm not going to add it. Uh, D input, D input 8. 
you know, add that DS sound, DS, uh, D, or D sound, okay, maybe we'll D sound, uh, GDI, GDI 32, there is no GDI 32, IMM 32, etc. You just add all the, oops, wrong one, IMM 32, you just add all these, right? Oh, I already got that. And um, now here's the thing some of these will break the game. Adding some of these to your thingo will break programs sometimes. Similarly, um, not having them will sometimes break your program. So you have to realize that what you want to do is you want to add them one by one. Go apply. Let's go back to our you know, PSOB. Already it runs pretty much with default wine. I think I just had needed that like .NET and a couple others. But anyway, see, here we are, it works. And uh, the game works fine, you know, etc. I won't bother logging in, but um, there we go. Uh, now, if it doesn't work or if you have problems, as I said, you want to go one by one. You want to add them slowly because sometimes they break. Uh, sometimes, as I said, these DLLs will break your <laughs> program. For example, I had this OL, OLE32. I found that broke um, one of the visual novels that I was using. Similarly, Quartz broke the visual novel, but it gave it the ability to use animations. So I basically had to get up to the point where the animation was, and then I had to save the game, exit it, add Quartz, you know, play for that animation section, save the game at the end, of the section before I clicked over to the next, then I had to remove quartz, then reopen the application, go to the next, re add quartz again, and back and forth. So, as I said, some of these DLLs will break the you know, program. If you don't find the DLL here, you're not going to find them all here. Like, I don't think kernel 32, I'm pretty sure that's just like a kernel, yeah. Oh, no, there is no. It could be kernel base, I don't know, it could be from a different name, but this is where wine tricks. Um, comes in, which we go. Well, I mean, yeah, Wine Tricks, that's it. Now, Wine Tricks, you see, I'm using a 64 bit version. You can do uh, create new wine prefix here, and you can create a 32 bit version. Sometimes that works, and then your new wine, pre uh, wine prefix will be here. Now, also, your wine prefixes, if you go to your home file and then you go view and you do see show hidden show hidden our wine is um, here dot wine the prefix is dot 102 so we got dot wine then we go to C drive uses fonts and you want to add your fonts here this is the fonts that the, the wine will use these are all the uh, you know, uh, I probably can't say these are just some default fonts let's just say <laughs> that are, are commonly used and you can also edit and you know, do whatever and you see here's my dot net I've got some .NET frameworks. I think I have yeah, version four. I've got like thirty uh, five, etc. So if you need to like you know, manually remove stuff, you can do it through here, or you can do select the default wine prefix, or if you've made a new one, you know you need a thirty two. And here we go. Install font configure, which configure is just it's just that again, or install Windows DLL or component again. Here we go. Look at all these. These are a bunch of extra DLLs. It's a little more detailed. So again, uh, we can go for GDI32. We go to G. Is there a G? Uh, there is no GDI32. Okay, we probably don't need that. Probably don't need that. Um, we go to, let's see, is it .NET? Here we go. Look, look at all these .NETs. So I've got .NET 40, uh, 4.0. Uh, a lot of them are broken by the way, or a lot of them are a little janky, so you just have to try different ones. And um, worst case, if you absolutely screw up by downloading a bunch of you know, bad DLLs that don't work, that break your uh, programs, all you have to do is, yeah, like OLE32, I don't know, I think you can just unclick it, oh yeah, you can, cool. Uh, anyway, so we just go back to home, and you just right click and delete it and then you will um, when you rerun wine or rerun an exe or whatever or I think if you rerun wine 
tricks it should um, remake the prefix which is basically just your window file uh, but anyway yeah really all you need to do is just get the dependency walker open the exe find the dlls add them one by one so you go you you wine wine config oh, whatever i can do it through this bigger wine add so we go you know add that add d3 d8 uh, so right here let me remove it d3 d8 add apply then we go to our <clears throat> game we run it does it work yes it works pretty much fine okay close um, we can keep that and you want to you want to play around with the application to really make sure that it works you know try all the animations try some new things save edit whatever whatever application using um, you know Mostly, you're probably just running games, visual novels, etc. Because most of the software on Linux, you know, like I don't know if you can see down here, Blender. That's all your visual. You know, that's all your models. Critter. That's all your visuals. OBS. That's all recording, etc. Code blocks. I like code blocks, person. So whatever. Um, you pretty much Linux software is fine for that. But if you you know want to play games or visual novels or whatever it happens to be. Um, you just need to install the DLLs, and as I said, one by, do it one by one. Click apply. If it breaks the game, just remove it, and then apply again. And it, or if it's fine, then you can keep it, and then you're all good. That's pretty much how you do it. So I um, hope that helps, and hope you're able to you know, get things working. Goodbye.